Hi, um, thank you. Yeah, uh, one question, but, uh, but I'd appreciate an answer from all of you if possible. Um, to the Egyptian uh, and Jordanian ministers specifically, um, are you engaging in talks about the future of Gaza, a future of Gaza without Hamas, uh, and what role you can play in that future? And Secretary Blinken, um, you know, how do you respond to the calls for your, from your allies here for a ceasefire? Um, and and are, are you hearing, um, are you finding receptive uh, uh, ears for your calls to talk about um, Gaza after Hamas? Thanks. I mean, thanks very much for the question. Uh, it's our view that uh, a ceasefire now would simply leave Hamas in place, able to regroup and repeat what it did on October 7th. And you don't have to take my word for it. Just a few days ago, a senior Hamas official said that it was their intent to do October 7th again and again and again. No nation, none of us, can accept that. No one would find that tolerable. Uh, and so it is important to reaffirm Israel's right to defend itself, indeed its obligation to do so, and to take necessary steps so that October 7th can never happen again. But it's also very important the way Israel does that. And that's what we've talked to the Israeli government about, uh, with taking every possible measure to protect human life, to prevent civilian casualties, as well as to ensure that those who are in need have the assistance that they need. To that end, I think we all shared deep concern about the plight of civilians uh, in Gaza, men, women, and children who need most essential thing uh, to get by. Uh, we've worked very hard to make sure that that assistance can flow to them. Uh, but it's also one of the reasons why humanitarian pause would be so important, to make sure that we can maximize the assistance getting to uh, the Palestinians, that we can make sure that people can move about safely, uh, that they can get to places where they're safe, uh, and uh, that, uh, again, we can make sure that not only is, is aid flowing in, but those who are responsible for distributing it get in. The right structures can be built to make sure that people can benefit from it. So we're focused on this, um, and we'll continue the work that we're doing together uh, with our partners to make sure that that assistance can get there.